What's going on everybody, it's the Blue Knots Gaming here, and today we are back with another one man team vlog. It is vlog number 24, and today is Dobby Day guys. It is the California Classico at Stanford Stadium, and I am super, super hype about this game. Um, oh, and by the way, one of the things that I want to mention is that if you guys already realize in the beginning of my intro, I said this is a one-man team vlog. Now, if you guys don't know what exactly one-man team is, it's basically a new name that I have created myself that is basically what it's going to be called for, for the rest of these vlogs. And if you guys actually want to see a kind of a teaser video of what that is about, I will have a link right below in the description below, or you can click click the links right here, right under pretty much my face or my mouth, depending on where I put it. But anyway, let's talk about the game itself. Um, so, for the game itself, for the fourth game in a row, we will not have Chris Wondolowski because he is still with the U.S. men's national team. He's still playing in the Copa America. But on the other hand, L.A. will not have Zar Jersey Zardes because he is also playing in the Copa America. And most likely, he is going to be going to be starting in tonight's game against Colombia. And speaking of which, I will, of course, keep an eye on that game and give you guys update as we go to the stadium because that game does kick off right as we will leave the house but yeah there's going to be some very key players that we're going to be missing on both both sides that means that once again again I think Quincy America will have to fill in Chris Wondolowski's shoes and the last time that happened when we saw the game against Dallas back in May yeah, it did not went well. I mean, seriously, that game, we had zero attacking king power in that game. Now, to be fair, that game, most of our star was missing. In fact, almost half of our team was missing because they were on they were on international duty and they were playing in the Copa America. But now most of our players are back in the squad and I think we should have some more kind of attacking power to field this team. But still, we will still have to deal with a, a LA team that scores a lot. In fact, I think they're they're the they score the most goal in the MLS this this season. And mainly the reason why they've been doing this is because they have Robbie Keane, who is very, very good. And of course he is an ex Spurs player. And they also have guys like some very familiar faces, guys like Steven Gerrard, the former Liverpool who captain um you also got Nigel De Jong the the former Dutch international no and you also have Gio Dos Santos who is also a very good player so it's going to be a hands full to stop them tonight but i think that you know our defense hasn't been very good these last couple of match we did concede some very kind of sloppy go but I have a feeling that tonight in front of a home crowd, in front of 50,000 people at Stanford Stadium, I think we are definitely getting this win. So without further ado, here we go. One, two, three. Come on, you quakes. All right, guys, we are now walking to the stadium right now. Just a quick update on the U.S. versus Columbia game. Yeah, we are down one nothing in the 35th minute. I think Carlos Baca scored in the 31st minute to make it 1-0 Colombia. So, yeah, it's not looking good there too. But what is also looking good is that we're almost to the stadium here. And I'm pretty sure they're going to also show the game. But for tonight, prediction, um, I think we're going to win this. I mean, I know that obviously they are a very good team, but... Over the past couple of years, the California Classical has been produced some unbelievable finish. And those finish are kind of like in our way. I mean, we've been getting some very incredibly luck these last couple of matches in the California Classical at Stanford Stadium. So I think we're going to win. I'm going to say 2-1 in favor of us. I know that sounds, you know, holding LA to one goal is going to be really hard, but... You know what? I think we can do it. So, 2 1, that is going to be the score. Okay, guys, this is basically the view from our seat. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. I think it's like the third row of this front row, the second next seat, but it looks really amazing. Okay, 
Okay, guys, the game hasn't even started yet, but it's already been very frustrated because the U.S. have just lost. Oh, so frustrating because I'll tell you what. Even though I didn't watch the game, I was looking at the, the text commentary and they kept saying that the U.S. was just wasting so many chances. And, and then, of course, we, for some reason, right near the end of the game, we get a red card and after that it was just over. But, yeah, very frustrating thing. But hopefully, we can, since the game hasn't started yet, hopefully the Quakes can kind of made our move a little bit better by creating a win. I mean, you know, I know the game hasn't started, but it's already been pretty frustrating that the U.S. couldn't beat Colombia. There was no advantage of the play. I don't know why the referee didn't play advantage there. I mean, if he played advantage, America was in there, but no goal here. Quakes get a free kick here. Let's see what happens. Oh my goodness. I think that was Chad Parrott trying to do a little chip right around the the right side of the 18 yard box and he hit the bar. I mean, boy, I'll tell you what, we've been really dominating here in the first half, but we just cannot finish. And we just cannot put a put a, a one goal in the back of the net. 
All right, guys, halftime here, and still scoreless, but I'll tell you what. In the beginning of the game, I thought we were going to have problems handling L.A., and they were coming at us, but until, until pretty much after that five-minute mark, we, we've just been dominating them. I mean, we've been causing all sorts of trouble against the Galaxy back four, and yet we just cannot put one in the, in the back of the net. Most noticeably in the ninth minute when... Honorable Godoy had a just literally one on one and he, he hesitated and he wasn't able to get, get the shot in. But anyway, it's been pretty good right now. I think if we need if we can continue this kind of pressure and be a little bit more clinical in the second half, I think we should win this because really that first half we really dominating them and we have we didn't even get get the LA front line a sniff at goal at that first half. close call I mean the ball was kind of like like around the 18 yard box and it somehow fell into Steven Gerrard and he unfortunately hit the post so basically now we both hit the post in this game here in the 55th minute but still it's it is still scoreless here oh no guys LA have just scored and it's Giovanni Dos Santos I mean I mean, I, first of all, I don't know who was marking him, but that was, it was a free header from Gerard there. I mean, and now we're down 1-0, but this is why we need to do better. This is why in the first half, where we need to, where we've been so dominant, but still we couldn't finish, finish the goal there. This is why we need that goal, because LA had definitely been the better team here in the second half. My goodness, we just got hit the crossbar again. I'll tell you what, we just cannot score there. The was coming in. It was a free header too from the four yards out and it was off the bar there. I think that was Barrett with, with the shot, but how in the world have we not equalized here? C.J. 
just got a man sent off here with a reckless tackle here in the 90th minute. And now they are playing down the 10 men with a couple of seconds to go. I'll tell you what, it is high tense drama. This is just like last night, but even better. Let's see. Oh, actually the player, the guy that got sent off didn't get a car there. Here we go. Here comes Salinas. Here comes the ball. Oh, but it's caught by the goalkeeper and I think that might be it there. That might be it. Yup, that's it. Wow. Wow. We got some high tense drama in there. I mean, we got a man sent off. We got a late goal. Tell you what, two nights in a row. We we got we got two nights in a row, some late night drama, but it ends in a 1-1. I mean, to be fair, a draw is a good a draw is a draw, and I think we clearly deserved it. Especially the fact that we really had so many chances in this game. But anyway, it is a 1-1 draw. That is pretty much the end of the game. And now, as always, just like last night, we're going to wait for the fireworks right now to show. But onto the game itself, my goodness, just like last night, it was high tense drama in the end. But it was a, for a different reason. I mean, last night we won, tonight we draw. So, yeah, that's pretty much the big difference. But otherwise, I mean, first of all, yes. We got a draw, and we certainly deserve it, but we should have won this game. I mean, seriously, the amount of chances we had in the first half was just crazy. And, the, and even in the second half, when LA really got going, we were still per dominating. I mean, we were, we were hitting the bar, I think, twice. I mean, we came close so many chances. They make a very good save. Like, I fought... I just thought, man, this is just our, not our night. And it looks like, it kind of feels like how the U.S. today did when they played Colombia today, where they just couldn't hit anything. But just, but right in the 89th minute, all right? In the 89th minute, just as I thought, all hope was lost. You guys know what happened in 2012, 2013, especially in 2013, how we were down a goal and we came back to win. Of course, we didn't do it this time, but somehow, I think the ball was Chase Salinas delivered the ball in, and I think it was Chad Barrett able to get it into the goal to score the goal, and I just go bananas after that. I mean, the crowd was just going absolutely wild, but anyway, a draw is a draw. It's a fair result, um, and yeah, so anyway, um, we're now going to wait for the fireworks. I will, of course, to show you guys the uh, fireworks. In fact, I'm going to actually upload a Stadium I'm actually going to show you guys some full fireworks show. The best so last, the last best vlog, I show you guys show only like part of it, like the we'll highlights of it. Today, about 10 minutes. I'm going to show you Thank the you. whole thing, and I'm going to do it in another video. So click on this link right now below to, to basically get the whole firework. And yeah, so, so now let's get you guys watch some fireworks. And also, make sure you guys subscribe and leave a like. I mean... I would really appreciate it. I, I've spent a lot of time editing, so yeah. Wow. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget to click this link below to watch the fireworks.